this extraordinary, the incredible feat of fuckery to make stupid decisions after one too many. And it's with this said that I accept that I'm a bit of a silly belly. But I always have been, you know, I always like a good laugh. But I was quite clever, I was quite smart too. I wasn't just the, the clown of the class here, yeah, although I loved to be. How I used to love to make my brothers in arms at school roar with laughter with our juvenile tinkeratus in classes like biology where we learned about important things about the reproductive system and it was in that that I remembered so many lessons about impregnating women and the particular biology that goes into that. It was quite extraordinary, quite, quite extraordinary. And when I did eventually fertilise the zygote with, uh, well, fertilised the ovum, didn't I? It became a zygote with uh, a young lady of fun and frolics that I met one day roving at the pub. We decided, much to our delight in each other's happy fancy, to keep the little fucker. And in this, I became a father. And it was most amazing. Most amazing to myself. It will never be not amazing. It was one of the best decisions I ever made. As an artist. Because, like Frankenstein, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, years before me, creating her own synthetic monster, I had created my own real beautiful creation of humanity and intelligence and beauty. And I'm really thrilled about it actually. I think I think it's just so great. It's just so great and she's so fun and she's so sweet. It just makes me cry my heart, makes my heart melt, makes me laugh so hard. All these things. Very good. Very good. And I would like to have more, frankly, but I just don't really have the cash to all the interest from Fair Maidens. To uh generate another beautiful soul in space-time. But, should my fortunes change? And uh, I make some serious wonga one day in my pursuits of a better world under the power of art. Because I don't know everything's brilliant. I know everything's fine. I know everything's wonderful. And just getting better all the time, you know. It really is. It's just super fabulous. I'm getting more and more intelligent. I'm finding more and more clever solutions to all sorts of things all the time. And when problems do arise from our activity, we generally get it together and we sort it out. And I'm very proud of my generation for the intellectual genius they have created with the advent of the net and all the clever software that goes with that high plane intelligence. And I'm so honoured and so happy in so many ways that um, I'm feeling quite chuffed about things. So when I, when I was doing well at school, I was it always links back to school in my life. Because I suppose they were my formative years. But we go twiddling back to school. 
and when I was doing well and things were going good, I'd do art exuberantly and do it quite well because I, I, that was the one A level I got on A in. And that A in art changed my life destiny. Because I went to the university of my dreams and worked with the good and the great in the field of my dreams and my passion. The moving image and how it can create fantastic stories and wonderful things. And I had a mental year there. Mental. And it changed my world again forever. But even after all the schizophrenic shit I've been through due to too much foolish acid and other drugs in the 90s, I've come to find a great inner peace in my latter years thanks to scaring the community largely. <laughs> but I am happy now in my, my dwelling, my home, my peace. And Thus, there is my white-on-white -white image of Jesus, the revolutionary hero, for you all to see, white-on-white, -white. look at that, isn't that a work of art? And thus, given my paucity, this is now on sale for £500,000. I think you'll find it's a steal, given the genius that you have witnessed going to the entire Lovely jubbly. I'm happy with that. Not everyone is, but I am. I can't just leave this to nothing, to ruin, to dread your knowledge and damned insatisfaction. But here I am, resident with some level of joy and happiness and well-being and painless beauty and thanks and grace and loving peace to create this image and what I've done here is go for the white and white number quite radically I think you'll find here I mean I always loved that about art when something was done that had never been seen before quite like it you know I mean it's just a 2D plane in reality art, isn't it? But just look at the radicalization of this piece. You can clearly see the face of Jesus, white on white, just as a statement of light, you know? And uh, it's nothing racial, it's got nothing to do with skin pigmentation. Don't look at, don't look at color, black on white, as the colors of our flesh, purely. I mean, it's ridiculous. Grow up. Right? This is extraordinary. It's just, and I was going to put in, I was going to put in an embellishment of black. And I thought, where should I put it? I said, oh, I should, should I make it quite striking, go around the edges? Or should I give him eyes and nasal cavities and a bit of lips? But I thought, no. I had a brilliant idea. I go, I'll just give him some tiny little black eyes. Right? And so it'd be all white with just a tiny couple of dots for black eyes. And people would go, well, what was the thinking behind that? And I would tell them, because beauty, <sighs> I fucked it up, because eyes are the windows to the soul. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So the black pupils of the eye, the human eye, register every piece of knowledge of beauty and awe we know. They are like encrusted gems of sentient quantum power lingering in our divine skulls. So anyway, we crack on. And it really is quite exceptional what I've done here today in order to change the space-time continuum and save humanity from the chaos and the corruption that is the art world and all the false media and all the lies and all the damnations and all the pretense and all the bullshit politics and all the anger and all the hate 
exonerated, relieved, departed, expirated, thanks to this and this chap here in this painting which you can hardly see. So there you go. That's the story of tonight's little struggle in order to, to do something when you're happy. It's no good just sitting around going, hey, look at me in the countryside, in a chair, watching EastEnders with a fag and a glass of wine. Aren't I living it up? No. You're not working. You're not making art. You're not making reality in a new form of conchai. It's not very specific, the genius that goes into this. That's why I, like you, like me, and them, those included, well, good shine on the merriment. And I'm merry ring to boot. All is well, thanks to the glory of art and the effort to create what has never been seen before. I'll leave it there, gentlemen and ladies. Sorry, I should apologize for my uncouth, ungallant tongue. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see before yourselves is entirely revolutionary. Tracy Emin, get out of my court. Get out of there. I'm coming for your memories. I knew, I know you're a scientist. I do science too. I'm not like John Mulaney. I know my science. Right, so this is incredible. And I'm feeling pretty fed about this now. I'm feeling pretty oh, loose and groovy. Pretty swell, pretty liquidized. And uh, I'm feeling ready to rebel. Because, you know, the job's good and the boys done good. The boys come in for the team. Thank you for tolerating me.